Details are what impress the viewers in the artwork. They're the fireworks at the end of an event. However, many people don't realize that details can only be successful if they are supported by strong composition. As artists, we place far too much emphasis on specifics in the early stages of our work when we really should be concentrating more on the composition. So it doesn't matter how great your details are if you have or start off with poor composition. And that's why I go back to the beginning where we talked about our sketch and making sure that we are correcting things as we go along. Remember that you can assign roles to different parts of your work so that some are large and dramatic, whereas others are quite subtle. So the more dramatic part of this painting would probably be the cypress trees, and as we go back into the distance, it would be the cliffs. So think about fabricating sections of the composition to contrast against the rest. All of the parts of your piece should work together and feed into the intricate web of relationships. Have your composition so complete and tightly woven that the removal of even one section would cause the painting to feel off balance. As we continue to develop the details of the painting, I keep going back to some of the same brushes that I was using in the beginning, the Sargent brush, the Impressionist blender for the background tree shapes. This is important because we're starting to work from the back and again forward and these are the, the details that start coming into the painting. The darkening of values, the strengthening of values, and those contrasts between light and dark and where those areas should be. I mentioned that when the water is influencing the rocks, there's going to be darker values along the rock areas. Values are important now as details start to emerge. Mm -hmm. Impressionist blender brush um, to create those uh, areas of cypress trees that reside up along the cliff lines. And this is important uh, in getting some of those uh, details in as well. These areas will be a little less detailed in terms of um, the detail that you see on the leaves or the trees themselves because they're going to be in the distance, so anything in the distance is going to be less detailed. But these little, little details going forward make all the difference in the overall piece towards the end of the painting. So these subtle little elements that you add into the background can have a huge influence on creating that feeling of depth and three-dimensionality within the piece. So I continue working from that background into the middle ground and refining and refining and refining. There are many times where I'll actually work the painting 
to a certain point and put it away for a while and come back to it. And I oftentimes see areas that I need to correct. I don't think any artist uh, doesn't have this experience where they feel like they've completed the painting, but there's something that still needs to be done. And you see it when you put the painting away and come back to it with fresh eyes, so to speak. Be selective about where you put details and distribute them sparingly throughout your composition. Too many details in a piece can make a composition feel slightly cl cluttered. You don't want to create a situation where the details are constantly competing for the viewer's attention. So allow for those large areas in your composition where the eye can rest temporarily. Think about details as little treasures that are to be discovered when looking at a piece. As we approach the end of the painting or finishing the painting, um, there are certain things that I like to do um, to add something special. A lot of times it may be a texture or an overlay. Overlays are easy to add. They can be done by using what we call the file place command. And you'll see that I have one called the gray overlay. It's a PNG. And what it did is it adds a little bit of extra texture, um, that feeling of canvas texture on top of the image. And a lot of times this can add some visual interest to the finished piece. So consider doing that uh, from time to time. Um, it is, uh, it's something that is fun to do. It adds a little, you know, a little more interest to the piece. And, and sometimes the texture can be so, so well done that it really can exaggerate and bring out the best in the artwork. So again, as I finish my piece, I do tend to put things away for a while, come back to it with fresh eyes, continue to work in the details, uh, making sure that those values are correct, and, and trying to get as close to that uh, feeling of perfection as I can in my piece. Again, there's a lot to say about painting places you know because they have a story and they have an emotional tie with you as the artist and they keep you engaged through the whole painting. So when you pick subject matter, take that in con into consideration as well. And um, I think you'll be happy overall as you complete your work because you'll not only be telling the story that you know to yourself, but telling that story to someone who may have never visited this place. So have fun, enjoy Painter Essentials 8, and take care.